Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing a quick reading for all the zodiac signs. Um, before we get into the reading, I want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out as we have time slots available and we do book rather quickly. So we are now booking for March and April. So for those of you guys trying to get your private consultations, now is the time to reach out. All right, my lovely. So I'm going to be shuffling the deck for all 12 signs to see what is it the energies that you need to either embrace or embody for the month of March 2021. When shuffling the deck, <clears throat> the first card that came out was the tower. So Aries, um, I'm going to take the message as it did come off rather strong here. And the tower card is all about a obviously the tower moment. There is certain aspects in our life where we know that we need change but comfortability or being in our comfort zone is something that becomes very comfortable for us obviously we don't want to go out of our way to change certain habits certain behaviors or certain traits the tower is here to remind you whatever it is that you feel there's been stagnation whether it's in your love life, in your finances, in your career, in your health-wise, whatever the situation may be, um, try to embrace new beginnings and try the best you can to get out of your comfort zone. Because if you don't, the tower will show up and this is spirit stepping in and shaking things up for you. And it usually comes in very quick, very sudden and unexpected. So before it catches you off guard, what they're telling you is it is time to start rebuilding new foundations, strengthening the foundations. Um, but this can also represent a very strong and deep connection that you feel if you're already going through this, you already feel this connection, but it could be someone that you're dealing with that you feel either intimidates you or it's a person that perhaps you feel um, like there's some type of scared, I don't want to say scared, but there's like a fear of taking action towards this individual. And what they're telling you is that circumstances and situations will align to give you that push whether you're ready or not. So just be mindful of that, okay? All right, that was for Aries. Now let's get with Taurus. Let's see what... Taurus energy is spirit. What is the energy <clears throat> that Taurus needs to embody or embrace for the month of March 2021? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Taurus, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is about looking at things from a long-term perspective. This is about thinking of the future. This is about planning for the future. Are you thinking or wanting to create or start a family? If this is something that's been weighing heavy on your mind, now is the time to start taking action. For those of you guys that are single, what they're telling you here is that you need to put yourself out there. Stop just being comfortable and saying, this is who I am and whoever's meant for me is going to come my way. They're not going to come knocking on your door, Taurus. You need to get out of your home. You need to be more spontaneous. Yes, we're going through a pandemic, but it doesn't mean that you have to be um, at home 24-7. Or it doesn't mean that uh, you can make and create uh, some type of new beginning from a comfort zone. So this is about shaking things up. This is about thinking of the future. This is about making plans. If you're currently on a journey or some type of endeavor, for some of you guys schooling, for others of you trying to find some type of financial stability, it is going to manifest for you, but it's going to take for you to take action and movement. Stop procrastinating. Stop sitting back hoping for things to fall on your lap. It doesn't work that way. If you want change in your life, you have to be the one to make those changes. All right. Let's see what Spirit's message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energies that they need to embrace or embody for the month of March? 2021 Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Venus if you guys like uh, <clears throat> these videos definitely comment below like share 
uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that um, we may continue doing these uh, readings and these videos for you guys. As you guys know, it takes a lot of time, effort, and energy with everything else that I do <laughs> on an everyday basis. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and to share or like this video. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The energies that you need to embrace or embody for the month of March. You have the star card, beautiful card, Gemini. This is an amazing energy. This is all about destiny. This is all about believing in the path that you're on right now. This is about embracing new beginnings. This is about believing in yourself, Gemini. The star card illuminates even through darkness. It brings us to be able to believe in ourselves, to be able to manifest what we feel worthy of. So whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest, whatever it is that you're trying to make happen, Gemini, it's not going to come from wishful thinking. It's not going to come from waiting to see if other people are going to be supporting or around you or helping you make things happen. This is about you owning your, your truth, owning your worth, and knowing what you deserve. What you desire the most will manifest, but it starts with belief, more than anything, self-belief. So what they're telling you is embrace who you are. Stop being insecure about things that you feel make you weird or make you feel that makes you very different because that is what distinguishes you from the rest. It's about believing in yourself. It is about knowing that you were exactly made to be who you are. Stop shying away from this. It's time to fully embrace this energy. The star card can also represent blessings coming your way that are unexpected. Beautiful energy here, Gemini. All right, let's go with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what the energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy that they need to embrace or embody for the month of March 2021? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, and you have the Ace of Pentacles, Cancer. So there's definitely blessings coming your way. There's a new beginning for some of you guys. This is uh, something that is going to start off uh, or taking traction in the month of March. For some of you guys, this is a new endeavor. This is a new uh, career move, a new, um, a new endeavor that you're taking on. Uh, for some of you guys, this could also represent an offering coming in. For some, it could be love. It could be that long-term committed relationship you've been craving or feeling that you want to manifest and it just hasn't happened. It's finally coming through. The Ace of Pentacles also speaks about what we are able to possess. So it's almost like that, um, that energy of that energy of what your mind if you hold it in your mind's eye, and if you want it bad enough, you will attain it. What you think about the most, you bring about the most, and you will hold that. But it's about believing in this process. It also speaks about, like I said, new beginnings, a new path for some of you guys changing careers. For others of you, um, maybe even looking towards uh, changing residency, some type of new beginning that has a lot to do uh, with the creation of where you consider your home. So again, uh, for some of you guys thinking about changing residency, for others of you changing careers, there's a lot of new beginnings with this Ace of Pentacles, but you must understand that you are worthy and you will have. But this is about embracing that energy and no longer resisting it, Cancer. For some of you guys, if you've been in search of love for quite a bit, a bit now, and it just hasn't manifested for you. There's something within you that there is fear connected to that. It could be the people around you. It could be that you often find yourself, well, you know, the men in my family or the women in my family always have difficulty um, becoming stable when it comes to relationships, etc. This is about cutting the, cutting the cords. 
to what you see. This is about releasing yourself from current circumstance and being able to see towards the future. You are not them. You are your own person and it is up to you and only you to change, to embrace, to have. Do you want it, Cancer? Beautiful, beautiful readings here. All right, let's get into it with Leo. Let's see what is the energy that Leo needs to embrace or embody for the month of February. Sorry, for the month of March 2021. March 2021. Oof. Okay, so we have two cards here for Leo. Wow, very contrast. We have the world card here and the moon card. Very different cards here, you guys. Um, the world card is a symbolization of ending cycle, of a new beginning, of something new, of starting a new life, of starting a, or creating a new life, I should say. And the moon card is about going into the next cycle in your life, Can't I mean, Leo, it's going to be very important for you to listen to your intuition. You were gifted or you were born gifted with intuition and I feel that in the past you've either ignored it you've either suppressed it or you questioned it and what they're telling you is going into the next cycle in your life there is a need for you to fully embrace your intuition this is going to take you very far in life Leo this is going to open up doors for you that you didn't even know existed or you didn't even know were there this is going to bring to you opportunities that are going to remove the stagnant energy that you may be seeing, feeling, or experiencing. This is going to help you and propel you to the next cycle in your life walking with purpose. Very, very strong message here, Leo. Listen to your intuition. Stop ignoring it. Stop ignoring the signs. When you have dreams... Learn to interpret those dreams based off of how you're feeling in that dream. Because those are messages that are coming from the divine. There is momentum around you that is going to propel you to either finding your purpose, your gifts, or your calling. Listen to that. Beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, let's see. Um, spirits, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the energy that they need to embody or embrace for the month of March 2021? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oof. All right, Virgo, we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about balance, about giving and taking. This is something that you need to embrace or need to learn to fully embody. For some of you, Virgos, you have a tendency of either overdoing, overgiving. This could be with friends. This could be with loved ones. This could be almost like a sense of when you're doing very good, and well in life, you have a tendency of overdoing for others to show them through action what they mean to you. This in the past has led people to either take advantage of that or to take you for granted. And what they're telling you is there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It is important and crucial for us to show others what they mean to us through actions, but it doesn't necessarily mean in the material sense. So this is about learning to balance that. This is about learning when to say no. This is about no longer allowing yourself to say yes out of obligation, responsibility, or embarrassment to say no. This is about being okay with giving, but also being okay with saying no or not giving and allowing other people to do for us. And this is very strong because they're saying that it's not only in the friends and family and social settings, but this is specifically in connection with relationships. You have to allow others to teach you or to show you 
what you mean to them in their lives, in their day-to-day -day lives. This is about being reserved sometimes. There's nothing wrong with giving, but you have to give and wait to receive. It is an exchange of energy, not just on the material sense, okay? This is emotions as well. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. Not always, anyways. Allow other people to show you who they are through actions. All right, my lovelies. All right, let's see what messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirits, what is the energy that Libra needs to embody or embrace for the month of March 2021? Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Libra. You have the Five of Cups. Okay. Let's see what the messages are here. Libra. You need to let go of the energy of the Five of Cups, Libra. This is about you being very much in your feelings or often feeling like, often feeling like you're missing out on something or like people around you have a tendency of getting exactly what it is that they want and you often questioning or wondering when will it be my turn or when will I be happy? When will I find stability? When will I have find emotional stability? And they're telling you the moment you stop crying and complaining about it in your mind and the moment you're willing to see or embrace these opportunities around you because you're looking at what milk has been spilled. This is about being grateful, Libra. So there is a need for you to embrace the energy of gratefulness, the energy of being thankful or feeling blessed, even when, even whenever we feel like we, like things don't go our way. And this is an experience that every human has where things don't seem to fall into place. You need to learn to say, I thank the universe for this not unfolding as quickly as I wanted it to. Because I know that there is higher purpose for this. I know that there is a reason. I know that there is a purpose behind this. And it is because of spirits that are looking out for me and that are trying to protect my energy. And I fully embrace this energy and I am thankful for it. This is about learning to be positive even when there's no reason to be positive. The moment you embrace this energy, Libra, is the moment that life starts to change for you. Because this is almost like an energy of lack or feeling that there's so much lack around you. Or like you cannot fulfill your destiny or like you are not being able to fulfill what your heart's desire is. And what Spirit is telling you is, Libra, you're not looking at the bigger picture. You're focused and consumed over here with what you've lost, what you're missing out on, what you don't have. And Spirit is telling you, Libra, look around. I'm bringing you two cups that are filled. They're overflowing with emotion. This could potentially be your happiness, and you're not, you're not taking it. You're not embracing it. It is about being grateful, Libra. All right, spirits, what is the energy? What is the message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is it that they need to embrace? What is it that they need to embody for the month of March 2021? Oh, okay. Scorpio, we have three cards here. Very strong message here. Okay. We're going to start off with the first card that flew out. The Hierophant. This is about our beliefs. This is about what we were taught growing up. This is about what we think is right and what is wrong. 
And what Spirit is telling you, what Spirit wants you to embrace or embody is higher knowledge. It is about really trying the best you can to embody who you are. This is about this is about, as an example, what people say, oh, Scorpios are very intense. They're very intense. They are very passionate, very deep. And oftentimes it is interpreted as a negative. With the Hierophant here, there is a higher meaning, higher need for you to be intense and passionate. It was not an accident that you were created there is a purpose for your intensity and for your passion, for the depthness in you. Are you fully embracing that? Or are you shying away from it because you feel like you put people off? This is about truly embracing who you are. This is about people seeing you as an individual that is very self-reliant, Perhaps they rely a little too much. This is about if I want to do something, I'm going to do it because I want to do it, not because people are expecting me to do it. And being okay with people expecting that and saying, I'm not going to do it. Do you see what I'm saying, Scorpio? Don't allow people to get too comfortable with the expectancy of what they expect from you. Your next card here, the Queen of Pentacles. This is about being a little bit more reserved with your finances, being more smart or strategic when we're talking about finances, how you spend money. This is about being meticulous in the decisions of seeing things. There is a difference between buying and investing. You need to fully know how to embrace this energy. This could be almost like the energy of I'm trying to get my own house, but yet you are not really thinking about your spending. This is about being practical. This is about being grounded. You need to embrace this energy. There is a need for you to take a practical approach with your finances. And the next card here, we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles often speaks about juggling too much. This is, again, with the Hierophant. Why are people only relying on you? Because you've done it in the past. It doesn't mean that you have to do it now. This is about taking on more than you should. This is about... Learning not to self-sacrifice yourself to make other people content. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. This is about learning to stand your ground, Scorpio. This is about not losing control because you're juggling too many things at once. This is about, to, this is about finding your inner peace at the expense of other people not being comfortable. And that's okay, Scorpio. That's okay. You shouldn't juggle all the time. You shouldn't feel like you have to be the one to step up or to make decisions or to take on responsibilities that perhaps other family members need to take on. And even if you are if you end up being looked at as like you're in the wrong, no, it's not. It's not wrong to be selfish. Sometimes it's necessary. It's necessary for our peace, for our peace of mind, and for our health. I hope that gives you some clarity, Scorpio. I felt heavy in that energy. 
All right, Sagittarius, this is the energy that you need to embrace or embody for the month of March 2021. Spirit guides, what is the energy that Sagittarius needs to embrace or embody? We have the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands usually represents standing your ground. Standing your ground, Sagittarius. But this also speaks about not being stubborn. I feel that sometimes when people try to guide you or when they try to give you, excuse me, they try to give you um, constructive criticism, you take it very offensively. You take it as people are judging you or people are critiquing what you do or how you do it. And what Spirit is telling you is you need to learn to be humble. You need to learn to take constructive criticism because it's not coming from an evil place. It's not coming from a judgmental place side it's coming because those around you want the best for you Sagittarius it's coming from those that are wise and have experienced and have lived the tribulations of life and they want you to evade as much as possible so that you don't hurt the way they did in the past this is about not being stubborn or stuck in your old old ways this is about being okay with trying new things. This is about not being so prideful because sometimes pride gets the best of you and it keeps you from progress. It keeps you from moving forward. It keeps you from blessings because you feel in certain aspects of your life, and this is not for everyone. It is a general reading. However, there are certain aspects in your life where you feel you're too good or where you feel that people don't have a say. But it's not those that do not have a say. It is those that love you and that want the best for you that have a say. Because they don't want you to continuously keep going down this spiral of difficulties in life. Pay attention to that. All right. Spirits, what are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the energy that they need to embrace? Or fully embody for the month of March 2021. Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy that they need to embrace or embody for the month of March 2021? Capricorn. Nine of Cups. <laughs> This is not only wish fulfillment, but this is the energy you need to embrace, Capricorn. Stop feeling like your life is always going to be difficult. Stop feeling because everyone says that Saturn is our ruling planet and it is the most difficult planet to deal with, that our life is always going to be shit and it's always going to be difficult. No, it's not, and don't allow others to tell you that. Or don't allow yourself to believe that, because then you're going to think that life is always difficult. And what they're telling you is you need to embrace or embody the feeling of becoming emotionally fulfilled or abundant. The moment you start to embrace this, you start to th see things start to align. Things become much more easier. Things become much more better. The Nine of Cups is not only wish fulfillment, but it is about feeling abundant in every single aspect of our life. When people say, I want to be happy, what they're really trying to say is that they want to feel fulfilled in every single aspect of their life. Abundance is not just money. Abundance is abundance in health, in prosperity, in success, your career, in your love life, in your health, etc. They're telling you you need to fully embrace the blessings that are unfolding before you. The more you acknowledge them, the more blessed you feel, the more the universe is going to give to you reasons to feel blessed. Stop being so pessimistic. Oof, that hurt my soul, you guys. 
All right, let's see what Aquarius message is here. Spirit, what is the message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the energy that they need to embrace or fully embody for the month of March 2021? Oh, Aquarius. Such an Aquarian card, right? <laughs> Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords speaks about a new beginning. But it also speaks about the power that you possess, right? Your hand holding up the sword. The power that you possess to transform or to change your life for the better. This is about getting new ideas but taking action behind them. You can have a million dollar idea, Aquarius, and if you take no action whatsoever to make it happen, guess what? Nothing happens. And then down the road, you hear about someone that came up with this idea that was very connected or almost very alike the one you had, and they became millionaires. The Ace of Swords is about being illuminated, seeing things from a very different perspective. For some of you guys, you need to embrace the need to get more knowledge, the need to practice something different, a different belief, um, a different practice. Uh, if you're religious, it could be that there is a need for you to expand your mind or expand your awareness through learning about other uh, relig you know, religions or practices, anything that's going to connect you directly with Source. And the Ace of Swords is exactly that. This is about opening up your crown chakra. This is about opening up to your, the possibilities are endless. It is about what you do with that knowledge, what you do with that understanding that is going to transform your life. What they're telling you here, Aquarius, and don't be scared to start something new. This is in love. This is in finances. This is in career. This is even in the way to express or to teach someone something that you're really good at. You can literally transform a passion or something that you're very gifted at you can literally transform that into your source of income, into your career, into something that is going to bring to you the alignment of your life's purpose. But you have to be willing. You have to be willing, Aquarius. You can't be stuck on the same. There is need for change here. There is a need for a new beginning. Okay, and finally, what is the message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the energy that they need to embrace or fully embody for the month of March 2021, spirits? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy that they need to embrace or fully embody for the month of March 2021? Okay. The Four of Wands. Pisces, you need to embrace or embody some type of stability in your life. For some of you guys, this could represent committing to what you say you're going to commit. So this is almost like, this is almost like saying you love someone, but still entertaining other people because your explanation behind that is, I don't know if it's going to lead to something, so I don't want to waste my time. Well, what Spirit is telling you is, if you're already, we plan for what we want to make happen. So if you're already planning on dealing with someone else, guess what's going to happen? The person you're dealing with is not going to give you the commitment or the stability that you're looking for. Do you see what I'm saying? There is a need for you to commit or to stabilize something in your life. This is not just with relationships. This could be career-wise. This could be your finances. This could be the people around you. There is some type of instability or lack of foundation, and there is a need for you to fully commit to it to be able to see the full manifestation of it. If you've been on this path of trying to find a career that is best suited for you and you keep hopping from one job to another, what they're telling you is you're not committing yourself enough to give it enough time 
to put that hard work in to be able to see the manifestation of it. If you're in a committed relationship but you're not fulfilled, can you really blame your partner? Or is there lack of commitment on your part as well? This is about not only self-reflecting, but this is acknowledging what we do that affects the instability in our life. This is about knowing exactly what it is that you want. So there is a need of clarity for you. For some of you guys, it could be that you're not sure what career, what profession you should be focusing on. And that's okay. That is okay. Sometimes it takes years for people to find their purpose. There's nothing wrong with that. But be in the search of it. Don't jump to one job and expect to see you know, expansion or expect to see some type of success when you've only been working at it for two, three months. Do you see what I'm saying? If you're going to commit to something, commit to it 100%, only then will you be able to see the manifestation of it. If you're dating and you're, you know, have a tendency of multi-date different people because there is a fear that you're wasting your time so you want to be dating multiple people to see which one's going to give you the commitment, you're preparing yourself for failure. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you're preparing to fail at what you want to make happen. You're sending mixed signals. Commit to something and stick with it, and you will see the amazing results from it. Okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely comment below. Let me know so that we can continuously keep creating these for you. I wish you guys the very best, love and light, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.